and that the true life will start after death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stated الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا That I have created death and life. Why? لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا To take a test, an exam, that who amongst you will do good actions? Who will do the best actions? Now down here, Allah has mentioned death first, then life. الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ that Allah has created death and life. Whereas we see in our life, first we live a life of 60 and 70 years, 60 or 70 years, like the Prophet ﷺ has stated, and then person tastes death. But in this verse, Allah has mentioned death first. Imam Fakhruddin Razi rahimahullah has mentioned, the reason Allah has mentioned death first is to indicate towards the reality of death and that the true life will start after death. According to a second interpretation, the word death in this life is referring, the word death in this verse is referring to the life of this world. And the word death is referring to the life of we after. And that this life compared to the life we after is like death. The hadith of the Prophet ﷺ comes to mind that this life compared to the life we after is like a person when he takes his finger he puts it inside the ocean, takes his finger out, the drop that falls from his finger, that drop is equivalent to this life and the remaining ocean is like the life of the hereafter. So my brothers and sisters, we are in a test, like the Quran states. So we will face problems, we will face difficulties, we will face great tests. But what is the remedy? What is the solution? What is the prescription at these times? This is, which, uh, this is the point which I would like to elaborate on today. The verse, Subhanallah, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. That, O believers, you are in a test. Test will come. Different difficulties will come. But remember, you need to seek help through two elements, through two things. Ista'inu bi sabri wa salah. Take and seek assistance and help through patience and namaz, salah, subhanallah. This is the prescription. Any difficulty we face, any problem we face, the remedy is in the Quran. Allah says, O oh believers, seek help through patience and salah. Now the word patience, sabr, usually we understand that sabr and patience is when a person is in difficulty, then he's patient. No, my brothers. The word sabr and patient in the Arabic language is very comprehensive and it includes three types of patience. Number one, al sabr al ta'ah that a person, he is steadfast on the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second type of sabr and patience is al sabr al ma'siyah that a person restrains himself from committing sins and breaking the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third type of patience is al sabr fi shada'id that a person is steadfast and he's patient at the time of difficulties. All these three categories of patience is classified, are classified as sabr in the Arabic language. So when we are in difficulty, when we are in pain, then we have to implement all three types of sabr. Ista'inu bi sabr, i.e. implement all three types of sabr, sabr and seek help from Allah through all three types of patience. Was salah and salah. Now the word salah here is referring to our salah. This is included inside one of the types of patience, which is to be steadfast on the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Namaz and salah is included inside this. But Allah has specifically mentioned salah separately. Why? Because salah is the best type and the best mode of patience. To such an extent that inside salah a person is so patient that never mind stopping himself from committing sins and unlawful acts, he is told to restrain himself from the lawful acts. For example, eating, drinking, these things are permissible, talking, these things are permissible, but inside salah even these things are prohibited. So he exercises the best form of sabr. And when he will do this, 
What is the result? Allah says, Inna Allah sabirin After when you practice these acts, indeed my help is with you. Allah is with those who are patient. And if Allah is with those who are patient, nobody can give any sort of difficulty to them. وَآخِرُ دَعْمَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ